What's up, guys? Well, as you can see in the seat right there, got the torque converter in. You may have seen the short I posted earlier. Uh, going to wind up swapping that over. Take off this trouble clutch. As you don't know, the reason I'm doing this, we got some chain dragage. Going back to the jack shaft because I had to gear, change the soft gearing on this a bunch because it was too, you know, want to do that constantly, wheelie all the time. So I'm thinking jack shaft, bring it up, chain up, come down. We won't have no problems with that no more. And I might be able to, you know, ease into her a little bit easier. So, uh, anyways, let's get this uh, stuff off and get her 30 series torque converter mounted. Once I get this turf clutch off, I start mocking up the backing plate, seeing how things are going to line up with that as far as the rest of my build goes, because this is meant for a go-kart or mini bike, not, you know, a homemade go-kart. Okay, with well, a few choice words, well, more than a few choice words, I finally got everything mocked up and somewhat in line. Got nothing tight because uh, I got to drill a couple of holes up here for the bolts to line up for the backing plate because the fact that uh, well this is a pressure washer engine it's not a go-kart engine and the difference is right back here well you can't really see it but that that little nub that's sticking out right back here on this backing plate hits the uh, cylinder head so it can't sit up higher to make all the bolts line up for the backing plate so I'm going to have to uh, to, to redrill two holes, not a huge deal at all. And then I believe I can proceed with putting that all back together. I had to take the right handle or arm off of it. I'm going to have to reroute that and get some exhaust wrap still to wrap this. But, uh, you know, it's going to work. It's going to take, it's not exactly plug it in play, as we say. But, uh, yeah. And as you can see, I decided to go ahead and take the engine completely off the frame because of the, there's just too much crap in the way. Get these bolts lined up for the backing plate on a 30 series torque converter. Well, as you can see, I got her bolted on. But I'm going to have to raise that engine quite a bit for that to clear. As you can see, once that's bolted onto the frame, all that's got to be off of the frame. So, you know, not exactly plug and play. Which means, you know, I'm gonna have, I do have things I can use for spacers. Not a big idea, not a big deal for that, but I'm gonna have to uh, get some, definitely some longer mounting bolts. So, you know, this would be, I guess, part one of the mounting a 30 series torque converter. Please join us for part two coming up here very shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. Just one step closer.